Yeah. Sometimes you make so much money. Not that much. Don't let people Dude. lie to you. <laughs> it's not a lie. Wait. Wait. The more that you grow, though, the more you can make. Well, it's yeah. enjoyable. Yeah. It's enjoyable. I enjoy it. I enjoy Wait. it because I just like traveling and meeting new people. <laughs> We're gonna cheers at every place, FYI. Okay, hopefully y'all can hear me. I was fighting for my life with them darn flies. Foam cream, guys. That sounds good. Also, these bottles are only made here and purchased here, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'll be giving you guys, the last one is a chocolate one for chocolate martinis. I call it a grown-up chocolate milk. You. Do you see any of these ones? I see you. Do you see the crocodile? No, ain't nothing in there right now. Yeah. Do fuck, it. Fuck these motherfuckers. Fuck them. <laughs> do it. You ain't gonna do it. Who, me? Do it. You don't think I will? Do it. Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna make sure them motherfuckers ain't in there. They not in there. They off today. No, there's a guy coming. He works here. <laughs> Love you up. You did it! Ooh. That was too quick. You saw one? That's <laughs> what I was chewing on here. Such a vibe. Beautiful. I want you to know that you can travel with the money that you have now. Like, I feel like when it comes to social media and the access that we feel like we have to people, it's easy to feel like you need to have five-star experiences. You need to have the five-star resort, five-star meals, five-star this, five-star that. Everything just has to be five-star and 200 300 400 $500 rooms a night and and i'm here to remind you baby that you don't have to do that like social media is gonna make you feel like you have to do that because that's what we see everybody else recapping but if all you have is a hundred dollars a night baby take the trip okay if that means you gotta fly spirit baby fly spirit i still fly spirit and i make okay money okay but i still have things that are priority my goal is to make my job optional my goal is to pay off my mortgage my goal is to get my affairs in order but travel is a luxury for me and it's something i'm not willing to get rid of and so what i like to do is like travel within my means you know my flights are free and i talk about this all the time in my luxury living on a nine to five budget master class but i have found out how to travel for free y'all flights free all 2024 now i'm working on my hotels and the best thing about that is that i don't have to do anything extra i ain't gotta sell my body i ain't gotta live under no man i don't like i ain't gotta get no sugar daddy i ain't gotta do i ain't gotta beg my parents i just live within my means and i earn points on the everyday purchases that i'm already making gas groceries bills utilities all the things and so hopefully this inspires someone who feels like they want to travel but you see all the girlies online doing five star shit don't you ain't gotta do that okay so spend within your means if that means spirit frontier do it because guess what you're gonna be in jamaica living your best life and folks gonna be at home judging you for flying spirit okay hopefully this encourages you i have so many more vlogs coming but um for now enjoy the word why is this lady in my background i don't know so let me hurry up in this video because i don't need her watching my every fucking move all right y'all peace Tell me more about the culture. That's my mother. Wow, she's beauty.
Yeah, my, my name is um, Giovannina Castillo. Well, um, the Garifuna people, they came here in 1823. Um, they migrated all the way from St. Vincent. Uh huh, that's um, what I heard. They went to Honduras. From Honduras, they came to Belize, Guatemala, and Nicaragua. Okay. Um, the Garifuna people are very educated and um, very um, smart Are working. People. So they work in, if they are not a teacher, uh -huh. they're a policeman or okay. a soldier. Okay. And um, they work in all different departments of the government sector and so forth. Um, okay. The Garifuna people are indigenous people. Okay. And I live in the least. They wear their own outfit. They have their own ritual, their yes. own temple, their own culture. Yay! Thank you, Gary. Oh, Lord. Well, you don't know, say, Kamegi Bay, what do you rock a take where lay, you know? Translate that for me. You know. Right, um, right now. You know the Garifuna people, they live like down in Dangriga and all the Hopkins. Punta and Hopkins. And yeah, Punta, Punta. And Punta. Um, the biggest group of Garifuna lives in the Bronx, New York. Shut up! And, um, I didn't know that. They're based in um, California also and Chicago also. And Houston? Yeah, I have been to um, Miami and I've been to New York. Okay. I mean, so, I'm from there. You're from? All oh, right, good. That's why you come back, Oakland, California. How you know? Tupac, respect. Yeah. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you lands and serve the Lord okay. with gladness. And yes. we hear that the Lord is Him. He's He that has made us and not be ourselves. Yes. We are the sheep of His pastor, so enter in the gate to praise and thanksgiving. Yes. The Garifuna people, they dance the Punta, they dance the Gunje. They dance the Chankuno, they I'm dance excited. the Wanaragua. Alright? The Wanaragua yeah. dance is a dance that mimics the slave masters. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whereby you wear the white mask and you dress in a white suit with yes. ribbons and so forth and you shake shells. Love it. Playing with the drum. We also have the Dugu, where you have the ceremonial dances okay. pertaining with the um, young girls getting the trance and relay the message coming from our ancestors to yes. us. So oh, this love is our that. ritual. You know, we have different masses, but as, as we migrate, we, we, we move close with the Catholic Church and we continue on, you know. Uh -huh. The Garifuna people are very peaceful people. Yes. And are very nice and kind people. I see. You know, and very sweet. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, so can you say something in... What's the name of the language? Um, the language is, um, is, is the Garinago language. Gera, Gera, Garinago. 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 Language. Garifuna is the people, we are the Garinago people. Garinago. Yeah, okay, yeah. so say something. Yeah. It could be happy birthday to me, I don't yeah. know. Anahaya. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Bubuele. What does that mean? Happy birthday, Bubuele. I'm telling you happy birthday today. Okay, thank you. Love it. All right, good morning, y'all. It is day six, and uh, yesterday was a chill day. I just went to have brunch on the water. Um, I'll likely include some videos either before or after this. It was bomb. Like, they had two for one drinks. The drinks wasn't given, but it was the food was good. I had like a traditional Belizean, Belizean breakfast. And then I just bar hopped, ran into, you know, the little hagglers that be out there. Um, I had saw him days ago. And you, the thing about them hagglers is they remember your face, okay? So he like, hey, hey, Jamaica, hey, hey, birthday girl. Because I had on a Jamaica hat and I had on a birthday crown a separate time. So <clears throat> he was like, come to my bar. And so he does, you know, brings people in. And so I was like, well, I'm about to go eat. But when I come back, I'll find you. And I wasn't planning on finding him. But when I came back, he found me. Okay, so I went to the bar, um, and the drinks were actually really good. Like, I'm actually glad I went, and then I ended up meeting the owners because I was telling my new friend, my, my Garifuna friend, I'm going to post a, uh, some videos of him as well, um, that I wanted to start a business out here. Like, I want to help the businesses basically get more business from us without losing the essence of their culture. Now, granted, the owner of that was is from Europe, child. He's from Portugal. He don't even speak English. He just speaks Portuguese and a little bit of Spanish. But he had his little friend with him, who translated for us. And so I'm supposed to go back over there today and see if they want to talk more business. Because they were drinking it Sunday, fun day. Like, I get it. They were like, hey, can you come back tomorrow? And we want to talk more. And so I might do that. But I also feel like they may just be BSing me. 
let me know if you think I should go do it. I know y'all gonna see this months after, but I, I, I will go back, okay? I know where the place is, so let me know if you think I should go. Um, and then, like I said, I bar hopped, I went to truck stop, um, you know, just had a day, a, a very chill day, a good day. So today, where's my thing, Jesus? Today is bow day, okay? You know, you don't know this, but I'm a big bow girl. Like my friends know this, my family know this. I'm gonna hop on a boat, okay? If we went on vacation, we hopping on a boat, okay? So I'm doing that today and I'm wearing my little gold bohemian baddie goddess chocolate girl, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all my outfit, it's hella dark and I need to go because I know this thing, the, the boat said they gonna leave you if you don't play ghetto game. So this is what I'm wearing. It's very cute, everything. Is she in? That's crazy. <laughs> and I'm not a fashion girl. So they keep it simple for me. I'm so thankful. So I'm going to head on out. I look so cute. Uh, uh, uh. Um, but yeah, I got to go.
Y'all, San Pedro's a vibe. Secret Beach, all the things. I haven't got a chance to come to y'all because I barely made it here. I'm getting on a taxi, going to the next town, okay? I'm excited, I'm gonna tell y'all what it is, but I'm thankful for these experiences. My stomach feels much better today. And yeah, it's all rainy and stuff, I hate that, but it's fine because I'm up out of here. We're going to the next town, okay? We're more black and black. I took, let me tell y'all a story. Let me tell y'all. I want this guy here in my damn story. Okay. Okay, so I took the shuttle or the water taxi from uh, San Pedro to Belize City, right? Because that's one of the two ways you can get from Belize City Airport to any other island. I flew to San Pedro. Thank God I did. Taking this water taxi is the ghetto. It is so ghetto. They ruined my luggage. I'm gonna show y'all. Like, it's hella packed. It's hot, ain't no air. It is just, no. Like, and granted, the process of flying is easier, but it's more expensive. So my flight was free from Belize City to San Pedro because I use points, you know? I use points and miles. I talk about all of that and my luxury was going out of my budget masterclass, but my flight was free, thank God, okay? And my flight going back is gonna be free too. Um, but because I'm going to a different part of Belize, I have to, I decided not to fly, you know, and, you know, experience the water taxi. No, if you have the money, or if you don't have the money, save up. <laughs> take the take the plane, don't take this water taxi shit, it's for the birds. Or if you do, don't do Belize Express. A water taxi do the Caribbean Sprinter instead it is gonna cost more money but again I believe that money should bring you freedom it should buy you comfort and I won't be doing this again I have to take it back to San Pedro but no like because then you gotta get a taxi from this water taxi terminal to the airport or to wherever you're going so it all adds up so it's $60 for this round trip plus the taxi and I heard the taxis are like $20 from here to the airport and then you gotta come back, you know, $20 again, and then hop back on. So that's what, $100 versus spending like, what, 120, maybe 100 on the flight, and you don't have to leave the airport. You fly from the same place. So just a little tip for those of you that wanna come to Belize. It don't make sense to take this damn taxi. You're saving a couple of dollars, but it's a longer process. It's an hour and a half versus 15 minutes. And your bag's getting, my bag's all damaged. I'm pissed, I just got that damn luggage. So yeah save your money and just take the flight it's 15 minutes it's a beautiful view and it's air you ain't got to worry about all these extra fees all right i'm about to show y'all where i'm headed next but let me get my damage bag first
Hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm sitting out here. These bugs, I got bumps I've never seen on my face. <laughs> and I know it's from these bugs. Like I am on a struggle bus. Like where did all these come from? They on my eye. I don't understand. But anyway, whoo child. Let me tell you about my day and how I'm about to go back to my room and book a ticket. <laughs> I am in Hopkinsville, easy I forgot to get a picture when I was driving in with my taxi driver. But Hopkins has like a lot of Garifuna culture and Garifuna culture is like an indigenous culture, but I call it afro belizean okay? So it's African center and you know, I like to find black people wherever I go. But the thing about Belize is that Belize is low key like a melting pot. It's giving like the New York and California of Central America, you know? It's not hella whitewashed like Mexico. And I know Mexico got black Mexicans too, but they don't be like an acclaimant, but I feel like Belize, they're actually proud of their culture. They're proud, it's proud to be, you know, Creole and Garifuna, and there's a huge Caribbean influence. Like, I don't think I ever really looked at Belize. I guess I did as like a Caribbean couple. Ooh, I should go over there. 
Sorry, I done got distracted. It's a little, um, you don't see it. So you can like go out there and stand. Oh, so beautiful. I didn't even, I have on clothes that I had on two days ago. Cause I'm like, I don't feel like taking a shower. If I take a shower, I'm getting in the bed. Cause it's been a day. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me out here. So I left San Pedro at like seven. So I booked my little water taxi ahead of time because I didn't want to have to wait. And I should have known better after Jamaica's Nutford, Nutford Express experience, but I get there. Run punch, cheers. I get there about 640, 640, 48, you know, pushing it to the limits. And it's a long ass line. And my little ticket don't mean nothing because I still needed to actually get a physical ticket. And I was like, ma'am, I'm trying to get on this this boat so I could get to Belize City and get to freaking Hopkins. And so it all worked out. It was hella hot. It was raining all morning. And I took that as a sign from God because I had on a cute little romper I was going to wear. I was going to get, you know, tra traveling auntie. But no, I had on some my regular traveling clothes, my pink tights and my Beyonce shirt. And thank God because it was a day, okay? So that little water taxi was hot as hell. I said, oh, I'm never doing this again. So I'm so glad I booked a flight. <laughs> like, I'm flying in and out of San Pedro. And then, um, this is good shit. And the lady, and I'm getting to the point. I'm so distraught from my day. I'm hungry and I need to get something to eat. So then I make it to Belize City. And then I find a little taxi driver taking me from Belize City, bus terminal to, I mean, the, the ferry, the water taxi, which is a ferry. If you live in the States, we call them ferries to the bus terminal which is hectic as hell okay because right next to it is a market and the bus terminal has all kind of buses think of like a greyhound station okay think of like in new york like what's that station called penn station it's, it's given that it was a lot of activity and i was just hungry so i was like okay where do i get a ticket because i know i couldn't buy one until i got there like oh no you pay on the bus i'm like okay sure so i'm like okay well where can i get some fried jacks that's like a belizean breakfast Oh, this was just what I needed. So that's like a Belizean breakfast. So the guy tells me where to go and get it. And I'm like, I'm not following. <laughs> so then he walks me to get it. It was so good. I had chicken and eggs, like not together. It was a, it was a whole little platter. Baby hooked it up. And I'm going to put a picture somewhere on here. It was very good. Um, then, wow, my face looks a mess. Oh, it's the sun and these bugs. It's not good for me. <laughs> I got to go home and read re get acquainted with my american life so i eat my food the bus comes around 11. so i'm on the bus the bus is nice it's like a little air conditioned it was nice like nothing was wrong with the bus the only thing that was wrong with it is they made hella stops like unofficial stops at least with nesford and jamaica they don't make unofficial stops they have like here's a stop in kingston here's a stop in st Anne. here's a stop in ultra like baby you can't be just stopping on the road out here they stop you Whoever need a ride, baby, pull up, okay? And they just charge you based on whatever they feel. So it was only $10 to get here. However, when we were in Hopkins, I was like, hey, like, are we in Hopkins? Like, do I need to get off? And he's like, no, we got another 45 minutes. And I'm like, are you sure? Because I'm tracking on my map, okay? I ain't stupid. And so he was like, no, like, you good, you good, 45 minutes. And so we ended up way an hour away near Placencia, Belize, which is another place I wanted to go, but not on those terms. So now I gotta get off my nice air conditioned bus because that was the last stop, nigga. And I asked you that over and over. And then I have to freaking, and at least at Nusford, they announced, hey, Ochi, hey, Kingston, hey, like, give me some tea. And so we weigh in, in Placentia, Punta Gorda, Independence. And I'm, I'm messaging my lady, my lady who lives here. Not my lady, like my lady, but like my lady who's on the ground. And she was like, ooh, you in Independence? I said, yeah, them hoes had me fucked. I didn't say all this. But I'm like, yes. And I was like, I just have to get on a little roach coach to make it back to Hopkins. Another $6. Not the end of the world, but it's about the inconvenience. So on the way back, I said, you know what? I'm about to fly back. I'm flying from, and I think I'm going to do this. I need to go book my flight. Because <laughs> I don't want to get on that bus again. I don't. I don't want to get on that bus again. <laughs> so I should do, I think I want to do taxi from Dangri from here to Dangriga bus terminal from bus terminal to Dangriga airport but then it's only a 25 minute flight versus being I was on the road from 11 to 350 which should have been 250 but they didn't tell me we were in fucking Hopkins 
So, I don't know. I'm about to ask my friend what he thinks he should do. I'll be asking him when I, I'm, I don't know if I want to make those kind of financial decisions. The ticket's only 75 and I'm all about spending my money to make better decisions. So, long, lo and behold, I make it here. Oh, my God. My face looks so horrible. Ooh, I make it here. The resort is beautiful. The resort is beautiful. I'm going to show you some pictures. The resort is beautiful. So, I get a little welcome drink. And she was like, okay, you get a complimentary welcome drink. I said, can I have two? It's been a long day. She was like, okay. So, she wrote two on a little paper. Baby, this is number one. I'm about to go get my other rum punch. And then I'm gonna go into dinner into the city. I need to go now while it's kind of light out so I can know where I'm going. But I'm gonna get my second drink. I think I'm gonna go to this spot called Ella's Cool Spot. Um, Cause the lady recommended it. But I'm gonna ask my bartender too what he recommends. I'm trying to go with where the locals go. I don't want no bougie stuff because I just wanna eat good. I ain't really ate for real all day since them fry jacks and some chips. I need some sustenance, so. Let me finish this, go into town before it gets too dark. And I'm just, if I kick it out there, I'll kick it in the town. If not, I'll come back and just chill in my hotel room. Cause it's actually very nice. I'm on my bougie side of the trip now, baby. The first two were budget friendly. Now I'm doing bougie things, okay? We got welcome drinks. I ain't had a welcome drink yet. So I'm excited and I'm so thankful. Despite all the mishaps, you have to make room for mishaps when you travel, pack your patience. I'm so thankful that I have money thankful to have points to book this flight if I need to and not have to get hop on that bus again and have me in the middle of nowhere but yeah this is why I want to get my community going too my girls like my money girl collective it's for the girls who want to travel with style travel with ease want to know that they can comfortably afford and confidently afford the trips and the experiences that they love like i already have my wait list going and i got about 10 girls on there you know so if you are interested in joining the community the collective where we about our money you know we're about collecting these beautiful experiences taking these trips without spending all of our money to do it okay i told y'all my flight here was free all of my flights were free the hotel that i'm staying at that i just stayed at that was free like all through points and I show you how to choose the right cards for you. I choose, I show you like, you know, the different benefits that you get. Like I get lounge access, I get TSA pre-check, like I get all the things. And a lot of people would rather do like buy now, pay later. And you just pay in your, with your debit card. And I'm here to show you it's an easier way to do it without you overextending yourself. So, well, like a chocolate baddie with bad skin right now. And my skin is normally very good. This, this, this Caribbean life is not being kind to me right now, but Anyway, I'm gonna finish this drink. If you are interested in the Money Girl Collective, I'm gonna be kicking it off officially in October, so sign up for the wait list. I'm sending out all the deets in September. Um, and if you just wanna learn about luxury living on a nine to five budget, baby, get my masterclass. That's immediate access. But if you join the community, you get, you get it for free, but it's gonna be a higher cost. So I recommend that you get it when you see this video before the price goes up, so. Anyway, I'm about to enjoy. Hopefully y'all can hear this, child. I know these ocean waves are kind of loud, but I'm still blessed. I'm so thankful. I was listening to this podcast earlier today um, by one of the churches in Houston where I live. And it was essentially about, you know, ensuring that you're a good steward over the things that God has blessed you with. And I just want to be a good steward. That's really my only wish for 37 is like, I just want to be a good steward over the things that God has blessed me with. My time, my money my talents, my relationships, my friendships. Like, I just want to show up better and, and, and honor God with the things that he's blessed me with. Because really, this isn't mine. My life isn't mine. My home isn't mine. My car isn't mine. This is all God. And I'm just so thankful to move how I move and do what I want to do. I'm protected. I'm at peace. I'm provided for. And I'm thankful for God's provision as I move forward with my business. Like, I want to travel more. Like, I want to get paid to travel, y'all. Like, I'm trying to bring the girls on a trip. That's why I need y'all to get y'all stuff together. First step, Money Masterclass. Second step, Money Girl Collective, baby. Join a gang. Because when I'm starting to get these free chips, free trips, it's y'all who I'm calling. Okay? Because y'all going to have your money ready. Y'all going to have your points. I mean, the hotel is going to be free. I'm going to lock that in with my little brand deals. But the hotels, all the things you, additional things you need, it's going to be a no-brainer. The deals are coming to my girls first, okay? So it pays to be gang, money girl collective. It pays to be a part of the luxury living on a nine to five budget money masterclass girlies because I give them all the tea first, okay? I give them a lot of stuff that YouTube, social media don't even see, okay? And when these brand deals, these free trips, 
these free experiences start coming in, they're coming to them first. So everybody attached to me is blessed. That's what I like to say. And it's true. So I'm gonna enjoy this one punch and I'm gonna head into town, go to dinner. I'm about to stuff my face because I'm so hungry. <laughs> Grab a glass. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you want extra room? You can just add more.
like cassavas, coconuts, mm. and plantains. Oh, okay. mm. So the main staples in the garden culture are cassava, bananas, plantains. Mm. So this would be a perfect tool to grate some plantains, mm -hmm. some bananas mm -hmm. to make a labuniga. So a labuniga is a um, many bananas, it's, it's grated green bananas cooked in coconut milk also. Okay. So most of the meals are cooked with coconut milk too. Mm -hmm. So this is the tool for it. And this is, uh, we call it the hana. Mm -hmm. So something you would call the mortar. Yeah. Yeah, so this, we're going to mash the plantain in this. Oh yeah. And this is a tool, it's a bowl to make bread, like to knead the bread. Ah. And then this is a strainer to strain like um, coconut. This is a smaller tool to this one. Okay. And then we have this tomorrow to bake tortillas. Oh. Okay. And this is an old, old pot. Used to be for my grandma too. Mm -hmm. And this is to strain cassavas to make cassava bread. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they will put this hanging out like overnight to strain all the juice wow. from the cassava. Mm -hmm. This is also a grater. Okay. Just to grate some more. So okay. this is just a, a um, one injected with stones and this one is with metal oh wow so you know these people used to make tools mm -hmm. they find yeah. stuff and so make these are handmade tools. yeah wow. Wow. Mm. wow thank you yeah it's all of them Yes, 
they do. Come on. What you like? Hold on. You like fishing with your dad? Okay. What you say? Tomorrow we get fishing. Y'all going fishing? I'm six. And then y'all going to cook I'm the fish? Days. Yeah. And eat it. Hey, that sounds wonderful. I wish I could do that. Yeah, I'll tell them what you say. Yeah, but I'm leaving. I was in San Pedro though. Oh, what did he do, San Pedro? I went to Secret Beach. Yeah. Mm, you been there? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Did you drive jet skis? Yeah. Really? I did with my friend. Oh. Yep, I went jet skiing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I like San Pedro, and then we we stopped in Belize City a little for not long, but just for a little bit. And you're you home. I'm from, T I live in, I'm from California, but I live in Texas. Yeah. I always wanted to go visit Texas. It's cool. I want, I want to go visit Chicago and Texas. Okay, my friend from Chicago, he gonna look at this and be like, oh, tell him to come. He can stay with me. <laughs> he loves and, Chicago. And, and, and the one place I want to be right now is Miami. Miami is a vibe. Yeah, yeah, Miami's like nice. this. Yeah. Miami's on the beach. You get the beach, you get the breeze. Miami's nice. I think you will like Miami more than Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> but Chicago is nice. That's my friend, he gonna, he gonna find, he said, tell him to come up. I got him, tell him to come up here. He loves Chicago, he loves Chicago. And he, uh, he, 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 he's an ambassador. You know what that is? That means he's like, he think it's the best thing ever. So he always likes to show people a good time. So his son is eight too. So you will be kicking in some, play drums and all that. Yeah. I'm jumping like this, like jumps. Yeah. Well, he played. You know, we don't have. It's not that common up there. But we did a. We did the drum, the air corner drums earlier today. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I think you have some in there. Yeah, it was fun. We did that. Then we did the cooking. Oh, cooking. Yeah. The like air corner cooking. We did. Uh, Who did? Yeah. Uh, that That's was very nice. That's nice. nice. That's nice. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Are y'all all air corner? Yes. Yeah, okay. That will make you get um, tired afterwards. I was exhausted, okay? I'm after this, I'm going home. Oh. I'm tired. What are you, where do you want to go? You want to go to the States? Where do you want to go? LA! That's cool. What about you, little baby? LA! LA is fun. Yeah. Good choices. I mean, I want to Miami. Miami. New York. New York. New York. You, yeah, you would like New York. I, I, I'm going There's to There's a lot of gear. Probably gonna be the first clip. <laughs> the 
one where we say welcome to Hopkins. That's probably going to be the first clip. Yeah, because that's fun. I'm going to try to get you some. So you can get to 1K. That's, that's the goal. The goal is to get to well, 1K. I'll uh, uh, make you reach out to 1 million subscribers. <laughs> that's the goal as well. But yeah, I want to like travel to different like black countries. Like That's one of my goals is to travel to different countries that are known and unknown and like show the like local cultural experience. Because you hear about, you know, Jamaica. I've been there a lot of times, you know. You hear about all the popular stuff. So you got, like, but Vibes there's Cartel. smaller... Oh, but there's Vibes Cartel. I know, Vibes Cartel is outside. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> but this reminds me of Jamaica. It reminds me of Jamaica a lot. Um, what do you want to be? What do you want to be, Steven? I want to be a tour guy. A tour guy? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good money. <laughs> what do you want to be? Right there on the border. 
So just freestyle it. Okay, so what can you do? Y'all tell me. Okay, so I love my cousins so much. Ah. And I love my families. Ah. And what is your name? Jocelyn. I, I love Jocelyn. Jocelyn too. Ah. I, I see, I see her, a YouTube Jocelyn. video, and she, and she have nice content. Ah, thank yeah, you, yeah. Steven. So, so like hey. hit the like button. Hit the Comment, like button. Too. Comment too. Like, share the video. So share the video. And the channel name. And share, the channel share the name. Friends, the family, and the cousins. The goal is to one k. One k. Well, one thousand per. Yeah, one k is one thousand. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Listen, Hopkins Belize is a vibe. I didn't know. I honestly could have stayed here longer. I could have stayed here longer. San Pedro is hectic as hell. I could have stayed here longer. I could have stayed here another day. Another day. Another day. It's hot as it. This heat, this sun is different in, in, in Hopkins. San Pedro's sun got a different sun too, but this I don't know where this song comes from, baby. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I gotta fight the flies. But oh my god! Okay, this is not gonna work. Let me go inside. How is this about? 
Hopkins has been treating me like the princess that I am as well. Waiting on, waiting on me hand and foot. These flies, you see the flies all on the video, child? That's why I gotta hurry up me. They, they want my food. You're not getting my food, baby. Mm. <sighs> Hopkins has been treating me like a passenger princess. The queen that I am, okay? San Pedro, you just, you just want a minute. Hopkins, Hopkins, bitch, bitch, bitch. Sorry, I'm cursing because the fly. <laughs> Hopkins is a vibe. They treat me like the princess, like the queen that I am, baby. Except for these kind of flies. Look, I done dropped it in the pool. Because I'm fighting the flies. <clears throat> Hopkins is a vibe. I feel like a prince. I feel like a queen out here. I, I love being waited on hand and foot. Now I gotta go back to ghetto ass and here you go. Well, you gotta pin for yourself. But these fish looks good. <laughs> and my one punch is good, baby. Everything good. I ain't had one bad meal. Not one. I ain't had many meals out here. But I ain't had one bad one. I know that. I gotta hurry up and eat my food for the flies. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Get your asses. Mm. I'm about to go home and make some salmon cakes. This is giving. And I don't like eating on camera. I hate seeing people eat on camera. These fish cakes bucking. These fish, it's an appetizer. These fish cakes is, oh, you mother. Ugh. Fish cakes busting. Eating outside is not a good idea. These fish cakes is busting. Rum punch, busting. I had to go to my regular bartender. His name is Travis. He know what to do. I didn't want the other bartender because he'd be making weak drinks. With, with Travis, I could taste his drinks. I could taste the welcome. If I'm okay, I want to taste the well. <sighs> so I've been enjoying this, y'all. Oh my God, I'm dropping food all in the pool. And I'm like, I want to come back. I want to come back and do hot for sport. Oh, except for the damn bugs. I want to do hot for a little longer. And I ain't gonna lie, it would be nice to have a little man with me. But ain't nobody in my life I want to do this with right now. <laughs> Mm -mm. Ain't nobody in my life right now that I want to do this with. Nobody. Nobody. No, not one of the men. I'm starting over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Starting over. Ooh, it's like the flies said. Ooh, we eating dinner, baby. <laughs> we eating dinner right now. I would like to enjoy this with my homegirls. I would. But... I also just feel like no shade to my friends. I love y'all. But I want to do this stuff with my money girls. I want to do this kind of stuff with my money girls. Which are my master class girlies. Which are the future, you know, money girl collective girlies. Because I want to sell what I'm being sold into. You know? And that may sound selfish. Ooh! Oh, damn. Mm. Let me go put this up so they can eat because they clearly not going to let me eat. So let me put this up. Okay, hopefully y'all can hear me. I was fighting for my life with them darn flies. I had to hurry up and eat my food. Oh my God, I look like a little chocolate baddie right now. Oh, I love this life for me. But honestly, what I was trying to say is that... Hopkins is treating me like the queen that I am, okay? Everybody looking out for me, okay? Don't be don't be afraid to travel solo. And granted, I didn't tell them that I was traveling solo until I got here, but I just feel like people been unofficially looking out for me, you know? And I'm very selective with who I share um, traveling alone with because it's not everybody's business. But it's giving queen treatment out here, baby. It's giving, it's giving queen treatment. Like, I got a ride to the restaurant last night I, I I just feel taken care of. And that's the life that I desire, which is why I'm single. Because I haven't felt that way with nobody else, okay? So.
So that's it. I'm about to finish this drink and go back to my room. All right. Ooh, sorry, I had a little, a uh, little rum bunch. Hey, y'all. I know you ain't seen me in a while. It's been a ghetto ass day, but we made it. Last stop of the Belize Me Baby birthday trip, solo birthday trip, solo travel vlog. Um, I have made it to my final hotel. I told y'all I've stayed in four different places over the course of 10 days. And every place was wonderful. <laughs> every place was wonderful. I had no complaints about the places. I've had complaints about other things like this cab, this taxi, this, this, ugh, it's just a long story. I'm gonna tell y'all at some point, but I made it. God is good. I'm not complaining. And um, yeah, I am about to go upstairs to the rooftop pool at my final hotel. It's cool. I like it because I get two rooms. This is room, it's a mess y'all, sorry. Room one <laughs> and then room two. And baby, it's just me, okay? That's how God works. You take a loss and God blesses you with better, okay? Because little baby played me, but anyway, I'm not even gonna include his information. And it's a, the golf cart guy that I use, like he really played and I'm like, you don't even know who I'm connected to. Not saying you're going to get God, but like I could have brought you so much more business. But the way you handled things and overcharged me for these last two days, like, mm -mm, you on my shit list. You won't be getting any business from me or my homegirls. And I consider y'all my homegirls. So anyway, I'm already late for the pool child. I don't know why it took me the hour to get ready. I just feel hella sweaty. Like I needed to take a shower. Like it's been a long travel day. I got from the bus way out in Hopkins to... um Belize City and then from Belize City I have to take the water taxi over here and then I, I, I'll get back to San Pedro and homie on the bullshit and I'm like sir I have given you so much money already I'm not giving you any more I'm not rich so I won't be using him anymore and if you plan on getting my itinerary I include the information for a local Belizean 
connect who already let me know like listen i can take care of you and your homegirls moving forward like don't feel pressured to just go with whatever you see online like i'm happy to be the middle man and ensure that you get the best deals you know so it, his information will of course be in my um belize itinerary and so so far two negatives and they both are transportation related and then obviously a few restaurants that i didn't like but there's so many more restaurants so i don't even consider those so Anyway, I'm about to go to the pool. I got a little welcome drink waiting for me. They give me a welcome drink. And I love when hotels give you a little card and be like, dear Jocelyn, thank you so much for staying with us. Like, I just love that. Like, you're welcome. Thank you for making this a wonderful experience for me. So anyway, I'm about to go. Um, I should show y'all what I'm wearing, I guess. I don't know how to do that. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, see, I don't even know how to do it, child. I don't know how to do it. I don't. I don't know how to do it, but give me, oh my God, I want to move my earrings. I just put them on it. Sorry. See, I'm not, I'm a fake vlogger, baby. My little outfit is cute. It's giving rich auntie. y'all so last full day in Belize I'm technically at the end of the day not the beginning I went to Secret Beach again to get me a massage hey <laughs> everything one dollar a minute her information is also linked in my itinerary my Belizean itinerary because baby girl does her big one okay and if you happen to be coming to Belize and you want you a massage a good massage okay i've been to her twice already i would have went one more time if i had the time her information will be linked um and then i had some fish at my favorite place on secret beach um oh it was everything i think i have a video somewhere i'll put on the screen but this has been such a wonderful trip like i feel so blessed to have experienced this 
um, alone because I feel like when you're by yourself and you're like secure in who you are, like I feel like things just start to permeate in your mind. I feel like God has been speaking to me clearly on a lot of different things. And I feel like I'm going back. Dang, my boobs look hella big in this dress. My, I'm going back a different person, you know, like I'm 37 now. And I want to ensure that the life that I'm living is most importantly pleasing to God. So I've had to have a lot of conversations with people that were okay with the older version of me that was okay with things that I'm no longer okay with, you know? And it's been some tough conversations to have in paradise, but I don't regret any of them because I want things and people to clear the path so that the things and the people that are for me that God has for me will make their way to me, you know? And sometimes you just gotta walk alone, you know, and, and continue to pray consistently for God to bring the things and the people to you that are for you. You know, even with my business, like I've been praying on different things with my friendship circle, I've been praying on different things. And it's not to say that I'm not gonna be friends with, well, some people, maybe not but like i still hold my friends in high regard but i also recognize that there is power in intentional community you know and when i think about the kind of friendships that i want to have like i want them to be a little more spiritually aligned like i want us to be able to pray together i want us to be able to read our word together like i don't want it to be just party 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 there's a time and a place for that okay it's not to say i'm gonna do that because i'm gonna do that but i also don't want to be so party, party, party that I can't even wake up and go to church the next day, you know, like certain things are becoming more priority in my life and having the right people around me that are also legacy minded, spiritually aligned, you feel me like about their business, like traveling, like serious about getting their money right, living a life that's pleasing to God, like that's very important to me in this season. And that might mean that I have to kind of fall back. I, I already spend a lot of time by myself, you know, but I feel like I'm gonna spend even more time <laughs> by myself just because I feel like God is speaking to me and I just feel so aligned with what he asked for me in this season. I don't know how long it'll last, but I just know that like, I don't have a desire to just be out and about at the bar, like having drinks every weekend, Sunday, Monday, like I'm down for all of that, but it's just not my normal. And I also just would rather use my weekends to build my business. I'd rather use my weekends to rest, to hear from God, to go for long walks, to do things that bring me joy. Sorry, y'all, I told y'all these bugs out here, these mosquitoes, even my girl who did my, who do my massage, she was like, oh girl, cause she saw me last week. And then she saw me again today and was like, whoa. So yeah, these bugs ain't no joke. And I don't even know what to tell you to bring. They said to use some aloe vera. Um, that's probably gonna work. I don't have an elevator tree. My grandmother did when we were growing up, but I'm gonna get something cause, cause I look like I got into a fight and I got beat up. But anyway, that's something that's very important to me in this season is ensuring that like God is at the forefront of everything and God is involved in every single area of my life, my business, my career, my friendships, my love life. Like this is TMI, but like, I'm not even having sex. Like I'm not, I haven't had sex in a minute and I don't plan on having sex. Like I want God to know that I'm serious about the intentional, like God-centered partnership that I want, you know? And I just don't want to be with somebody and we go off vibes. I don't want to be with somebody and I just like them and we just have sex. No, because all that does is make me feel empty. If you do that, to be clear, baby, this is not a judgmental space. I don't judge my friends who's still out and about. I'm not gonna judge you. I don't even know a lot of y'all, <laughs> you know, but I just know for me, like I have decided to sacrifice many things in this season of my life, knowing that I know that God is calling me to greater and I can't seek greater and move towards better if I'm not willing to let go of the things and the situations that don't serve me. So yeah, no sex no no getting drunk no more i'm gonna have my drinks but i don't need to get to the point where i can't even wake up the next morning because i'm so sluggish like that's not the season that i'm in because i've started going to church again like i've been tithing but i was off and on like now i'm consistent with my tithing and my offering like i just feel like 
it's time for me to become, and I've already become a better version of myself, but you never become this pinnacle. It's always gonna continue to get better and better and better. And I know just from seeing like just different things and God speaking to me in different ways, whether it's people that I met on this trip, whether it's things that I came across online, like the things that I desire, the, the desires of my heart are not far-fetched because for me, I may feel like it's not possible to find my business bestie. For me, it may feel like I'll never find, you know, the man that God created for me. But like, that's me operating on my own strength, you know? But with God, I know that all things are possible. And I know that, you know, God's plan for my life was already formed before I even got here. So it's important for me to ensure that I'm seeking him daily. Like that I'm, I'm putting down my cross, as they say in the Bible, and like, laying it at his feet and, and asking him for direction, you know, asking him for discernment, asking him for, you know, um, what's the other word? Uh, intuition, you know, for the things that I should pursue, the things I shouldn't pursue, the people I should pursue, well, I ain't pursuing nobody, but the opportunities I should pursue and the opportunities that I shouldn't pursue. And again, I want this in every area finances my friendships my I don't have no relationships but like eventually like I'll have some romantic relationships like traveling business growth health like every single area is so important to have God's hand in and it's not even me telling God like hey I want to do this it's like okay God what you want me to do okay I put a lot of stuff on hold in this season because I'm like it was this was me operating off my own strength and my own desires but I have a quote and I'm obviously not at home but I have a quote around it says something around like a godly woman seeks God's purpose and plan for her life and not her personal preferences and I, I put that on my board in my office because sometimes I'll be getting in my own head and I get excited about an idea and I just be executing I'm like you know what no I may have the idea, but I have to consider the root. Was this just the devil trying to distract me? Or is this truly God saying, yeah, I want you to go full speed ahead. And I'll know that it's God when things start low, slowly falling into place. And so that's just the season I'm in. As you can see, I've transitioned out of the... I mean, I'm going to go back to my lemon pineapple. But I am drinking my water, minding my business, and just hoping that God continues to speak to me and ensuring that my wavelengths are clear because God don't speak loudly. Like I've learned that he has a still small voice and you have to be silent enough to hear it. And so as I'm driving back and forth to Secret Beach, I'm hearing it. As I'm in the shower, I'm hearing it. Like it just feels so good to be in alignment with God's will for my life. And I want to stay here. I don't want anyone else to persuade me. I don't have a desire to please anybody else or make anybody else happier than God, not even myself. So Yes, Dan on that, a little spiritual moment, if you will. Just very thankful and reflective of this journey. Um, I'm about to go on this dinner food tour. We're going to go to like four or five different places that I didn't even get to see. So I'm really excited about that. And that'll probably be my last activity unless I meet some more homies out who want to go kick it. But not too late because I have to come back and pack as y'all can see my stuff is hanging up on my swimsuits. Because that's all I've been wearing these last couple of days is swimsuits. It's the first kind of dressy dress that i'm wearing um and i'm gonna show y'all what it looked like in full um but yeah i gotta go baby it's nine minutes and i'm already late to the place child it started at five it's 4 40 oh my god it's 4 48 okay i gotta go for real <laughs> but hopefully it's inspired you somehow <laughs> Cheers. 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 Cheers.
Much more. All right. 